Uh, welcome everybody. Thank you very much for joining us today for our senior seniors demo. Uh, today we're going to have three of our senior seniors demonstrate uh, a little bit about their own experiences in Aikido and it's going to be quite a distillation. The three demonstrators are not the oldest students that we have in the dojo. We have older students. Uh, where's Jan? Jan is one of our two oldest students. And um, Don is the other. But each of the demonstrators today have been doing Aikido longer than anybody in the dojo except for me. And so uh, combined between the three of them is more, of a, more than 100 years of Aikido practice. Think about how many up-down cycles that is. Quite a lot. Um, I became really interested in senior Aikido when we started teaching at a senior center in Stafford. And Robert, that was 15 years ago, is that right? 15 years ago. And O Sensei said that Aikido is for everybody. So I thought, well, what does that really mean? Not everybody's going to do the exact same thing. A 20 year old is going to be different than a 40 year old. It's going to be different than a 60 year old. It's going to be different than an 80 year old. But everybody can express their own Aikido. And so today, we're going to see that expression from three of our, our longest uh, Aikido practitioners. Here in the dojo, we began um, keeping records. Uh, John Mills was the oldest Shodan. He did it on his 68th birthday. And then not that long after, Stephen Hardiman did his Shodan on his 69th birthday, literally on his 69th birthday. And now, you know, we've got so many people in the 70s that it's just sort of routine. The age, the numbers are meaningless. Uh, but everybody trains at a different pace. Uh, today's demonstrators have been training for a long time, so they started when they were younger. We have people who start in their 70s, and they move a little differently, they think a little bit differently. So Aikido is presented in a variety of different ways. So today we're going to see three demonstrations. You might see some uh, mental expression of Aikido. You, might, you will definitely see some technical expression of Aikido. You will see some physical expression of Aikido, and maybe we'll even feel a little spiritual expression of Aikido. And at the end, uh, I will make some closing remarks, and then we'll have a little time for fellowship. So I want to thank everybody for coming, especially uh, the Johnson family who's come from far and further. Thank you very much for supporting the event today. And, um, we will begin. Our first demonstrator is uh, Dwight Sensei. Dwight received his first degree black belt in 1994. All right, so that's a, already quite some time ago. And he began training at the famous Turk Street Dojo in San Francisco, which is actually is part of our lineage, and he diverted when he was in the military, he trained in Italy and a variety of places around the world. Uh, in 1993, he founded the Fredericksburg Aikido Club, which is the reason that Aikido in Fredericksburg is here today. So our roots and his Aikido roots uh, come together. He is going to be demonstrating with the youngest of our demonstrators, uh, Sarah Montgomery, who's a fourth don in our dojo. Uh, Sarah teaches Aikido uh, both here and at J. Sargent Reynolds Community College. And then um, and Dwight has recently begun teaching in North Carolina as well. So uh, he's going to be our first, um, our first demonstrator. Our second demonstrator will be Robert Kravitz, Dr. Robert Kravitz, or Dr. Bob as he's called here. And uh, Dr. Bob also began his Aikido training uh, millennia ago. It was more than uh, 20 years before he actually got his first Aikido rank due to moving around and a variety of things. But he got his Shodan in 2008, the first degree black belt in 2008. 
He, at age 75, he is the oldest of our demonstrators. He is four days older than Dwight. <laughs> and uh, his partners are what we call Team Stafford, some of the senior Aikido practitioners from our neighboring county north in Stafford. He's a retired physician, and Bob teaches Aikido regularly at our class at the Stafford Courthouse Community Center. Our third demonstrator is Oliver Johnson. Oliver got his first degree black belt in 1984. He started Aikido in the 70s. And I had to do the math and you know, that's almost 50 years. Not quite, but it's more than 40 years. Um, Oliver is the youngest of our demonstrators. He is just 70 years old. Uh, but his partner, uh, Rand, is uh, the oldest of the partners, and Rand will be 72 this year. So the demonstration uh, depends a little bit on the, the demonstrator, and it depends a lot on the partners. So we'll be seeing their energy as well. Uh, Oliver began his Aikido training in Syracuse, New York, and actually he and I trained together in the 80s in Syracuse, and when he walked in here a few years ago, it's like all roads come back together. Really fantastic to have him part of the dojo. And Oliver is now teaching Aikido at the University of Mary Washington Aikido Club. So uh, let's uh, welcome our demonstrators today. And we'll just go in that order. Please bow in and please bow out. Thank you. So before we start, I would, thought I would tell you about the inspiration for this particular demonstration. It comes from the very first test I took in Aikido, which was at the Turk Street Dojo, since they mentioned. And the instructor stopped the test, maybe halfway through, and offered some corrections. There were three of us taking the test. And he turned to the first one and he told him that he needed to get off of the line. And he went to the second one and he pointed out that he was using too much upper body strength and he needed to get more into his lower body. And then he turned to me and he looked at me and then he looked at the class and he looked back at me and he shrugged his shoulders and he says, he's tall. So, hey. 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 
Hip. Um. Hey. Ah. <clears throat> Domo arigato. Domo arigato. Domo arigato.
Hej, då må det gata. Don't no worry, Gato.
So you can see that Aikido is a reflection of each individual's experience and personality. Uh, Dwight came to Aikido because he said, I got a desk job. I'm going to be doing a lot of sitting, and it's going to ruin my back if I don't do something. So here he is today, decades later, doing a seated technique demonstration. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Robert is a man of letters, and his demonstration showed what happens when you run into obstacles. And so his divergent thinking skills came into play, and he was able to demonstrate how to move around obstructions. And Oliver's spirit was obvious to anybody who could see. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. So uh, thank you all for your demonstrations.